everybody. The reason I'm doing this is because I've had so many people, people overwhelm me in the last few days on how I get my hair so done. So I took my shower. I didn't go heavy on the makeup today because these hives are kicking my butt. No fooling. So what I did was, because I do have a uh, very frizzy hair, it's not curly like it looks, um, after I wash it, this by far is the best I've used. It's by Blanche. It's called Thick Cream. And honestly, you need a dime size. Don't comb your hair out first if you have frizzy hair. You rub it together, you scrunch everything up, and that's it. It wasn't. And like I said, I don't want to repeat myself, but went easy on the makeup today. My nose is huge. My ears are huge. Uh, my neck went down a little bit from last night. But my daughter-in-law actually did some research for me last night. And it actually came from the Bum Bum line, the Brazilian Crush line that I bought it and it doesn't happen to everybody only if you're allergic to the fragrance that there's something in it that causes hives so needless to say that will not be used anymore so the first thing I'm going to do to get the hair as big as I possibly can because people like I said people think I have a lot of hair I don't hair dryer the nozzle is going to go straight up like this not turn it that way not till we get the brush in that way now we're gonna start I wish I knew a way on the phone and I'm new to this and I'm still learning how to speed it up but I'll figure it out so this is what we're gonna do we're turning it on and you want to start at the crown of your head brush everything not brush plus the opposite direction and you will see as I go along that that thicket cream works like nobody's business so you mainly just want to get as much moisture out as possible before you put the brush to it the more you do this as you can see, the bigger and bigger it's going to get. All right, now, this is actually what my hair looks like. People don't believe it because, I don't know, my fiance actually calls me Gene Simmons. But, anyway, now we're going to take, we're going to part it from the ear, down, we're going to clip it, this way, get this bad boy out of my face, alright now we turn the nozzle that way, like you normally would, I use, I believe this is a 3 inch round, only because my hair got longer, um, so here we go. Always, always, always want to put the dryer facing down on the brush. If not, you're going to get frizzy hair. So always face it down. And believe me, I have no experience at all. My daughter's a terrific hairstylist. My son's girlfriend, she's actually just starting out. She goes to the tree. Um, 
but I'm the type that uses nobody's advice but my own. And it's been working for as long as I can remember. Like I said, I'm almost 55 years old. And always down. The other side. Now because I don't comb it before I dry it, it takes a little bit of effort and it hurts me because I do have, I recently had two spinal cord surgeries in my neck, that's why you see these scars. And other than the skin cancer surgery that I'm facing on the 20th, I also have to get my right shoulder up. So, it does hurt a bit. Sometimes my hands go numb, but we all know the old saying, beauty painful. Now we're going to get to the back. So I actually want to blow everything away from your head. If you just pull it down, you're just going to have flat, no bounce to your hair. It's just going to be flat, and that's great for some people, but it doesn't work for me. For me, the bigger the hair, the better. My kids make fun of me, they call me bun, because I always have my hair up. Like, kind of like schmooky on Jersey Shore. But, that's my look. You either love it or you don't. It is what it is. Alright, so we're almost done with the bottom. That is the thickest part of my hair. Like I told you the other night, I really don't have a lot of hair. But honestly, it's all about products. Alright, now you can see so far how smooth I got that. Go down by your ears. I don't want to put a lot of heat on my ears because we all know with hives, the heat brings it out a lot more. I wouldn't even have washed my hair today, but I felt so itchy. I actually woke up 5 o'clock this morning because I wanted to pull my ear off the side of my head. That's how itchy it was. So now we're just going to pull down sort of the, I'm not going to say crown, but the sides heading towards the crown. Bear with me because my hand is going a little numb right now. And of course the comb has to get stuck. Alright, so we're pulling it down and we're going to do layer number two. You can see how much thinner my hair gets towards the top of my head, but I guess that's the good genes I got from my family. Okay, this is going to get wrapped, and we're going to move on to the next layer. Okay, so like I said, always down. You always want the blow dryer with the brush to go down to the brush. If not, it's going to frizz out. And like I told you the other day, I am in Jersey, so it's like 80 something degrees already. This morning wasn't too bad. I went outside on my deck and had my coffee, and it was actually a little chilly out, which is great, because that means fall is coming, 
and that is my shit. I love that time of year. I got two grandsons that are born in October. My oldest son is born in October. He's actually going to be 30 this year. Unbelievable how the years do fly by. But it goes. And I remember when my kids were small, I honestly, I had five. I just about had enough time to take a shower, never mind get dressed. So to all you young moms out there now, believe me, your time will come. The kids do grow. And then you can start taking care of me again. But it's all worth it. Kids, they make me laugh. They make me cry. I pray to God every day when they go out, they walk at home safe. And that goes for my son-in-law, because my daughter's married. It goes for my daughter-in-law. My Kayla, she's my girl. She looks like Lady Gaga and as far as born. And if she's watching this, she's probably peeing her pants right now. But she really does. And she's got that same bad ass attitude as Gaga. Remember the scene where she punched the cop in the face? I have no doubt she's capable of that. And if you're listening, hey, you know I love you. You know you're my babe. Okay, we're almost done with the second part. Do you see the fullness? I'm hoping everybody could see. Like I said, I'm new to this. I am computer stupid. Phone stupid. All right, now this mess. If I left it, this is what it would look like. So we're not going to do nothing fancy today. I I am going to shop right, and I am actually going to cook today. Hooray! So this I'm going to blow back, but I'm not going straight back. Each part of the top of my head, I do want a different slant, so it's four. You're going to hold that there for a couple of seconds, just for it to cool off, and you're going to let it go. Now we're going to the next set. Now this one, I'm going to blow this one. Remember, ladies, everything is product. Product, product, product. If you just want to wash your hair and go, and then you can pull that off, I'm jealous. I wish I could. One night last week, it was so hot over here. I took a shower. It was about 4 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon. And I was so hot, and we do have central air, and I even got a fan going on top of it. My fiance was like, just let your hair dry, I'm dry. So I said, all right. I went downstairs, my son came home from work, and he's like, mom, what the hell happened to your head? I said, well, this is what it looks like if I just let it dry. Now the front, we're just going to get, because I do have a receding hairline, and my gray's coming back in. I can't wait to get to my girl Leanne. I'm going the first week of September for my color. But if you chill out and you wait, I'm going to show you something that you can hide the gray hairs. And it actually gives your hair a thicker appearance. 
All right, so I'm just gonna unplug this for now. This is what the back looks like. I did no spray, nothing yet. I'm just gonna show you step number two. The first, give me one second. I'm sorry, these things on my nose are killing me. Plus I'm sweating. Switch this fan. All right, now before you put, and years ago I was the hairspray queen. I don't use too much of it anymore. Only because my hair is longer, so. All right. Number two. This is also from Lange. I'm almost out of it. I have to order more. It's a heat shield. So now if you're going to put any kind of curling iron, flat iron, especially if your hair is bleached like mine is, you want to protect it. You don't need a lot. You don't want to get close to the head. A good 12 inches away. And just let that sit and rest on your hair. There's the cover. I'm so blind I can't even find the covers sometimes. All right, now, next step. Remember what I showed you the other night? Kenra, okay. Before anything, I am going to take my hair just over here. This will absorb any of the sweat because I'm sweating like a pig right now. I can't stand drying my hair. Even in the winter, I sweat. That's the only part of my body that sweats is my head. Okay, now. You're going to rub that heat shield through your hair. It dries right away. It's really another great product from Lange. And I actually think they have 50% of everything right now. It's either 50% off or all hair care products are, and believe me, I'm not sponsoring them. I just love their products so much. Um, it's either 50% off or all, or all hair care is $9, and they're normally like $20, $25. And like I said, I'm not sponsoring them. I just love their products so much. All right, now, I'm not going to go crazy because when I get done, all I'm going to do is throw my hair up and get to shop, right? Okay, so flat iron. Um, my daughter bought me this cheap flat iron. If I say a good, oh boy, 10 years ago, I'm not kidding and it's still kicking. Okay, now because I sweat and because my hair is frizzy, this part here right by my face, by my ear, I'm going to pull down, and then I'm just going to kind of twist it away from my face, just to give it a little thing. I'm going to do a couple of pieces in the back. I'm not going to go right up to the root. Just any little frizzies that I didn't get while I was drying it. I do go down to the ends. And you can see how that's curling like that. I'm not going to bother with the back today. I really don't feel good with these hives. I look like, oh my God. When I got out of the shower and looked at my nose, I'm like, oh my God. I am Italian. I do have the Italian nose, but can you see that? But. I don't appreciate the bumps all over it. I think when I actually go to ShopRite, I'll be like a zombie, but I think I gotta get Benadryl. All right, so just two little things just to get the frizzies. <clears throat> all right, now up here, we put that, uh, the hell is it called again, the camera in.
All right, now we're gonna just hit it with spray. My favorite by far, you could buy this in any drugstore. I buy it in ShopRite. It's actually like $3 cheaper in ShopRite than it is in Rite Aid. Nexus, it's the Maximum Finishing Mist. I've been using this years. And I actually buy another can before I even run out. Don't get close to the head. You want to be far away. Get these pieces off my face. Always block your face when, because you really don't, you don't want hairspray sit on your face. It's not a good look. Don't push it up from there, push it up from here. Those little pieces I curled. Got a little zigzag going on there. But I want to show you a little secret for grays. I'm going to bring you back into my bedroom, but I'm bringing the fan with me because I'm sweating. Don't fall, fan. Okay, you there? All right. I'm going to show you a little trick if you have grays in the hairline. It's not a trick. Wait, I forgot my clip. Hold on. not a trick this has been around forever but what people do in between their dye jobs at the salon or even themselves uh, everybody gets the roots in you're gray whatever and they'll go out and excuse me they will go out and spend 10 12 15 dollars on root touch-up which is the same exact thing as eyeshadow so my roots are brown my hair was jet black for years i recently lightened it because i don't want to be that old lady with jet black hair my daughter started the process with the bleach to um start getting the, the black out but she's got three little babies six four and three so for her to come and do it, it it's just it's hard if her husband's working okay so this is the palette i showed you the other day it's the cat von d i've had it for i don't even know how many years so this is what you're gonna do don't go out don't waste your money on the root touch-up because the eyeshadow like I said is the same exact thing so this is the brush I use any eyeshadow brush because like I said once you clean them everything comes right out And you really don't even, whoop, sorry, that was my son, he's at work. All right, let me just dry the sweat off. All right, now, as you could see, all here, I have all my gray coming in. Plus, you can see here, I have a reseated hairline. So, here's the trick, ladies. I'm gonna use the dark brown. It's the same color I use on my eyebrows and I gotta use my mirror. All you're gonna do is you're gonna pull the hair back. Don't let it hit your face, but does dust it off right away. You do wanna leave some gray there because like I said, don't hit your face with it. And it will even for those of us that have the receding hairline, thanks to the good family jeans, look, every single gray is gone. 
the hair down. I'm going to do the other side. I'm almost bald on this side. It's like I said, people think I have a lot of hair, but I really don't. Okay, we're going to repeat it on this side. Look at that. I'm filling the space right up. And like I said, don't go out and waste your money on root to touch up. Any eyeshadow will do the trick. Pull the hair up. I'm actually doing this looking in the regular mirror. I probably got eyeshadow all over my face. But I'll check it when I'm done. Pull the hair up. Get all those grays. Leanne, I can't wait to see you. a little more hide this hole over here all right now listen honestly that's not gonna fall out you're not gonna see it on your face later oh my god these hives are horrible you're not gonna see it on your face later um, And listen, the more you mush it, the bigger it's going to get. you got to try those products. And like I said, I'm not sponsoring nobody. They are just absolutely fantastic products. And you know the old saying, you get what you pay for. But, like I said, they're all 50% or $9 now. I actually ran out of the toning shampoo. And I went on their website. I like to wash my hair with that at least twice a month with the bleach to tone down the brassiness. And I went on their website and they're on back order. And I won't buy no other toning shampoo. So I will wait till it's back in stock. All right, ladies, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I showed you a couple of tricks for people that have that baby fine hair and you really want to blow it up. And tomorrow, it'll be bigger and bigger and bigger until I wash it. And then we got to start from scratch again. So, off to shop right I go. Thank you for watching. Mwah. I love you. God bless.